Hello, this is Matt from Practical BI, and today we're going to be looking at the all and all except functions in Power BI. Um, so these are DAX expressions, um, so they can be used within a DAX context in any tool, uh, but today we're going to be talking particularly um, within a Power BI context. This video is aimed at the intermediate level, um, so not beginner, not advanced, we're talking intermediate here, um, and by that we expect some prerequisites um, in that you'd need a basic understanding of the calculate function um, and in general the, the, the kind of the basics around DAX um, so understanding um, the filter concept in particular I think would be important here okay so let's dive straight in let's first of all just have a look at our data uh, before we get into all and all except I just want to uh, familiarize you with the example data that we're using here so I'm going to go on to my data view um, I'm going to click on my fruit sales table uh, and you can see that we've got a very simple data set here. I've just got country, fruit and sales. So we're assuming this is uh, sales data, the, uh, the total sales volume of a particular fruit in a particular country. So very simple stuff. I'll go back onto my, um, onto my report view um, and I've just created a, a matrix table here. Again, assuming this is all very simple stuff. Um, uh, I've brought in um, fruit as my rows, country as my columns, um, and I've created a, a simple measure, which is just uh, sum of my sales column. Uh, and I've brought that, that into my, my values of my matrix. So very simple stuff, as I say, um, we've got each, all of our sales listed by country um, with our totals in there as well. Okay, so let's start by looking at the all statement, uh, the all function. So what all does, as defined by Microsoft, uh, is it returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column, ignoring any filters that might have been applied. So in practice, what that means is that we can uh, do a calculation such as a sum, um, completely uh, ignoring the columns, the rows that we've applied, any filters that we've applied in the filter pane that relate to the particular table or column that we've specified. Let's have a look at that in practice to make it a bit more clear. And so I've got a second measure here. It's called sum of sales all, just to demonstrate this concept. So uh, the way that this particular measure is structured, we're using a calculate uh, function, uh, assuming you're familiar with that calculate function. Um, and within one of the, the parameters of that calculate function, we're using uh, our all statement. So uh, first of all, we've got our, our existing measure, sum of sales. And then we're saying apply to that measure the all statement. So return all rows in the table fruit sales. Um, so calculate sum of sales, uh, but give me all rows. So calculate that across all rows of the fruit sales table. Uh, and I've brought that into this table here. Uh, and you can see exactly what that does here. We've got um, 2,300, which we know to be our, our total sales, but appearing in every single column, every single row every single cell of that table. And let's say, for example, instead of um, all uh, for the table, we want to specify a particular column. So uh, instead of all uh, fruit uh, all fruit sales, I'm gonna say all fruit sales um, country. So change that there, uh, just update the, uh, the table. What you'll notice is that uh, while our, our values are different across our rows, our values are exactly the same across the columns. So no matter the country, um, we've still got 600 total sales for apples, which we know from our existing table to be the total number of, of uh, apple sales. We've got 800 for bananas and 900 for oranges. So what we're doing here is we're saying, uh, give me the sum of sales, uh, but ignore any filters applied to the country column, which is the same as saying ignore the, the uh, when country is used as a field in, in a table. So it completely ignores the country here. Uh, and similarly, we could do that again, but for fruit, um, and we'll notice the same thing, uh, but we've got differences between our columns this time instead of between our rows. Um, so uh, uh, apples, um, 800 in France, um, but we know that we've only got 600 apples here, um, and 800 is in fact the total value of sales across all of France. Uh, and same is true of each column. Okay, so that's the all statement. Uh, let's move on to look at the all except statement. So just for reference, I've kept our all um, table at the top here. 
um, but this time we're looking at all except. Um, now the difference with all except is that, it, uh, again, as defined by Microsoft, it removes all context filters in the table except the filters that have been applied to the specified columns. Okay, so we're actually talking about something that's that's the opposite way around to the all um, statement. In the all statement, we're saying ignore any filters that might have been applied or ignore any filters applied to the columns that we specify. Uh, in the all except, we're saying um, ignore all filters in everything except the table or column that we specify. Um, so let's see again, uh, always easier to demonstrate with an example. Let's see what that looks like in practice. So I've got my, my exactly same the same um, sales table as reference up here, um, but this time I'm applying an all except formula. So let's start with all except country. Um, so here again, the structure of this is, is very similar. I've got my calculate function, I've got my sum of sales, but this time I'm saying all except, and I have to specify the table and the column um, that I'm referencing. So I'm saying, um, in this instance, I'm saying remove all context filters except for, the con for any filters applied to the country column. So I'm saying ignore everything, all filters in, uh, applied to the table except the column. Um, and what you'll notice, is that we get exactly the same result here uh, as we had in our previous all table. Um, and just to remind you, our all uh, table and our all measure previously, we were saying all fruit sells fruit. Uh, this time we're saying um, apply a filter to all except country. And it, and it takes us to the same result because we only have two dimensions in our table. We only have country and fruit. So that's just to demonstrate that um, all and all except are um, effectively working in, in, in the opposite way. Okay, so um, so the, the result that we get, um, as you've seen before, is that while we're taking into account the uh, the, the country filters, because we've 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 asked uh, Power BI to take into account those country filters, we're completely ignoring the filters that apply to fruit. So we have exactly the same value for for each fruit. Again, just to demonstrate that in uh, with uh, the other. Uh, dimension that we have here. If I look at um, a summer sales measure, say all except fruit, um, you can see that uh, this time uh, all, fi all filters are ignored, uh, filters on all other columns are ignored, I should say, um, which in this instance just again means filters in the in the um, country column are being ignored. Um, and you can see just uh, I'm just getting the values for, for apples, uh, bananas and oranges. OK, so hopefully that clears up the difference between the two. But what you might be asking yourself is, is why? Why do I need this? How is it helpful? Um, this just looks like confusing data that isn't going to uh, give people the answers or the truth uh, that actually that, that, that the data is actually representing. Um, so I, I've just created a, a couple of use case examples here. And one of the best use cases for all and all except, while it's obviously not the only use case, is to calculate proportions of totals. So let's see what we mean by this in the all example, first of all. Um, so I've created another couple of, me uh, another few measures to, to demonstrate this, but let's start off first of all with proportion of total sales. Um, now let's have a look at what I'm doing here. So I'm taking my sum of sales as already defined, and I'm dividing it by my sum of sales all. Okay, so just to, to, to make this clear, I'm gonna go back to my uh, sum of sales all measure. I'm gonna take off my column reference here just to keep things simple. Um, and I'm just going to reference my fruit sales table. So what you can see is, um, uh, as before, um, if, if we look first of all at the, uh, the numeric table, I've got just uh, 2,300 in every single cell. So we're ignoring all filters on the table. We're just saying sum everything across our data, ignoring any filters applied. And just to re-emphasize, when we say filters applied, uh, that also means um, when we've got columns and rows specified, um, because effectively what we're doing there is filtering the data to represent a filtered view of the data just for that particular value in that particular column or row. Um, so that's my, uh, that's my denominator uh, for my proportion of total sales. If I want to know um, uh, what proportion of my overall total sales each cell represents, I need to have um, my total sales as my denominator. I'm saying what proportion does this specific cell represent divided by my overall sales. Um, so let's go back to that measure again. I'm looking at what proportion does that specific cell represent, i.e. my sum of sales measure with no um, conditions applied, divided by my uh, total sales across the whole um, 
the whole data set. Um, and so you can see here then, I can see that, uh, for example, apples sold in France represent 4% of my total sales. Uh, bananas sold in France represent 22%. Um, uh, oranges sold in the UK represent 4%. Um, and you'll see that looking at my column and row totals, overall, everything that I've got here adds up to 100%. So that's quite a, a you know a nice example um, if you want to represent um, the totals uh, the proportion of the total across your data set. Um, you may be thinking, well, actually, I can do this in Power BI anyway. And true, if I wanted to, I could go onto my uh, sum of sales table over here. I could drop down on my sum of sales measure. I could go to show value as, and I could look at percent of grand total. Um, and that's fine. Uh, I, you know, we can talk about decimal places and tidying this up um, in a, in, a, in a separate. Um, uh, at a separate time, but uh, ultimately I'm, I'm getting to the same point here. So uh, just for simplicity, let's uh, take that off. I'll add my sum of sales again. So we've got our reference table here again. Uh, and let's look at the, the same kind of uh, use case, but this time for all except. So let's say I want to know, instead of the proportion of um, total sales that each individual um, country fruit combination represents, I want to know the proportion of uh, sales within each particular country that each fruit represents. Uh, so this time I'll obviously need to know my total uh, fruit sold um, within that country and I'm looking at the proportion that each fruit represents within the total fruit sold within that country. So this time I've got my um, proportion, of, uh, proportion of country sales um, sorry, yeah, that should say proportion of uh, country sales. Okay, so I've corrected that title. Now we're actually looking at the proportion of country sales here, not the proportion of fruit sales. Um, so if I look at that measure, proportion of country sales, what am I actually calculating here? I'm calculating the, the sum of sales, um, so that individual cell, uh, divided by my uh, sum of sales um, with all filters uh, applied, uh, all filters removed rather, except for the filter on country. Um, so um, what that gives me is, is I can see that apples make up 13% of the sales of France, bananas make up 63% of the, of the sales in France, uh, oranges make up 25% of the sales in France, um, and so on. So uh, I don't have to look at the proportion of the grand total, I can look at the, uh, the proportion of of each column uh, that a rose value represents. Exactly the same uh, when I look at proportion of fruit sales, except this time um, I'm looking at the uh, proportion of that fruit sales that each country represents. Um, so here I can see that Germany, for example, represents 50% of the apple sales, um, and the UK represents 25% of banana sales. Um, so I hope that's been useful. Um, if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, um, please do uh, comment on the video. And as always, um, please like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your feedback. It's, it's, it's early days with these videos for me, so I'm really keen to hear your suggestions and ideas of the kind of topics that you'd like me to cover and the kind of detail that you'd like me to go into. Um, thanks again for listening, um, and I hope to speak to you soon.